You guys, we are flying, baby! Literally. We are literally flying. <laughs> what is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things on an amazing trimaran that has magical speed boost and magical armor properties. Man, that was a little scary there for a second. I had to pause. Welcome back, you guys. Thanks for joining me for an episode of Windbound. I'm very excited to be back. There's all sorts of that weird uh, wooden rasp thing going on. Sir Sorry! Oh, man, I feel so bad. You know, these guys should, like, they should turn on you and their mouth should get ten times as big and they should attack you instead of just being a beautiful little woodland creature. I feel like I would never want to mess with those guys in real life. I would want to go into business with them. Bleak frond farming business on the island here to get us enough cash for a startup for some sort of tourist industry. And then people could come to these islands and enjoy the beauty and majesty of the game and sail on our beautiful and majestic enchanted trimaran. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a couple days, like I said, Well, and we're back. I spent some time with the wife and the puppy. I took uh, a day off for the holiday. There was a holiday here in the States, if you are from the States. So I took a little time for the holiday and uh, yeah, but I missed you guys. So we're back and we're gonna do some more stuff and things. How many arrows we got, baby? 18 boner arrows, all right. So, looks like we got a couple of uh, bad hombres over there. A few, in fact. Our hunt for stuff and things continues in Windbound, and I'm very excited. You know, it's really funny. We started playing Stranded Deep, and uh, I wanted to play that game because it was, had an ending, and I wanted to finish it. Uh, then Subnautica Below Zero came out with an update, and it shiny thinged me. And I thought to myself, self, I want to check out this new update from Subnautica Below Zero. And then Windbound came out, so now we're over here. So, there's just so much stuff going on on the channel. Uh, I'm very excited, but I'm excited to work on kind of getting towards the end of this. It looks like there's some wood here, which is amazing. Super valuable for us. And there's some bad hombres over there, too. I don't know. If, I, I feel like we're ready. I feel like we might be ready to do this. Do you guys think we should? And then... Headshot! Headshot! Oh, chin shot. Hardly effective. Ah, no shot! Ooh. Oh, that was so close. So they do the arrows that we have. Break the anus. Most vulnerable spot. Everybody knows that. The arrows that we have, I do believe in this bow, make an area of effect where we don't take that much damage. Oh, I missed. Did he just have a poop? What was the squat maneuver we had right over there? That guy's still going strong. Let's go ahead and harvest this bad hombre. So, yeah, the area, uh, the bow that we're using creates an area of effect where we don't get damage. Now, interestingly enough, I could use this bow, but I have the ancestral bow. You know, I'm going to use the bastion bow until it runs out. I'm going to use that for a second here. Let's eat some koji berry. That was quite, uh, quite an amazing little battle we were into there. Hold on. And... Sir! Nailed it. Dude, this bastion bow is amazing. I think this does reduce damage, too. Reduced base damage. Maybe we should just be using the Ancestral Bow. All right, so Gorehorn Crests, we have them in spades. A few raw meats as well. I'm going to head back over to our boat, harvest up the rest of this island. How many Nautilus shells do we have? We only have the dose, so we need to get another Nautilus shell going. Let me take a look at our map. I showed you. We're all the way kind of back down over here. I think we started right there, and then it looks like it's showing we didn't explore this island, which I'm... Almost positive we did. So we can maybe, uh, when we are done on this island, head back up in this area, kind of to the, is it north? I guess north, uh, and see what we can see over there. But, yeah, I'm going to cook up some meat, harvest some stuff and things, and then we will be on our way. So the island that I said that we had already been to, uh, I'm positive we've already been here. All the resources have respawned. That's awesome. Uh, is there a way to cheese this game? Like, re save and restart the game just over and over, then come back and get the resources over and over? If that's the thing, man, I couldn't even imagine how big of a raft you could make. So, I feel like with this wood, we might be able to make some improvements to the raft. I have a couple of ideas of some stuff we could do. It might involve a little bit of downsizing, but it's definitely going to involve a lot of moving around of items, which is a weird thing that this game, I feel like, has an opportunity to do a little bit better. Um, so I, there was a gloom harrow around here. Another gloom harrow jaw would be freaking epic, man. How many arrows do we have right now? 13. That should be plenty 
in order to take that guy out. I know I saw him he around here somewhere. I think there's also some angry grapes. So we have to be careful about that. More blink fronds important for making arrows. Dude, where did that guy go? There's the blink right there. There was a gloom arrow around here. I saw him. I know I did. Where did he go, man? Let me get some sticks. Dude, it's getting foggy. It's getting all foggy. I'm trying to make a video for my peeps. Dude, where did he go? Dude. Oh, no. I feel like I hear grapes. Okay, there's a blink over there. Dude, there was definitely a gloom arrow here. I saw him. Got him. What? Bam! Headshot! Oh, dude, stay right there. Be dumb. Yes! Cheesing the gloom arrow. Oh, he's pissed. He's evaporating. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. That's right. Ragdoll, and give me your jawbone deal. Oh, also the skin, you guys. We can use that maybe now. Is there another one? We No, there's one of the grapes. We might have enough to make either the shrouded hood. That's this one skin. Oh, yeah. I think we... I don't know if we have one skin or two of those skins. All right. So we got some stuff and things going on around here. Now, there's a lot of resources, obviously, to gather up. Uh, but what I want to do now is before we do any of the resources gathering up some things, let's pop back over here. I want to, oh yeah, I already got that guy. I want to take a look at, uh, what's going on in our fireplace and our drying rack to make sure that everything's going good over there. What do you got going on for here, for me right here? Oh yeah, right there. One of those, one of those, one of these. We'll put some more of the small meat on. Dude, we got so much food right now. We might have to make the food bag thing. All right, so that guy's all doing well. So right now what we have is a bamboo uh, topper deal, bamboo sail, big bamboo middle part, and then we have grass on the edges, right? So what do we need in order to make a wooden hull? So right here, wait, what? Wooden hull spikes. No, 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 that's not what we're looking for. Or I think it's right over here, pardon me. So the wooden hull is, oh, wait, I wonder if there's more wood. There's probably more wood on the island that I haven't even gotten yet. There's six, we have eight total wood. And if we want to build the wooden hulls, I think there are three, right? So we could build two wooden hulls, and we already have enough bamboo to make three. So maybe we take the center part and change that out and make it wood, make the outside edges bamboo. I think that could be a thing. You know what? There might be some more wood on the island. So before I get too crazy, I'm going to go ahead and plop some of this stuff away. What do I got inside of here that I can move somewhere else? Maybe this clay. Let's go ahead and put the leather in there. And then we can put our clay over here. Let's look for the gloom harrow stuff too. We have a gloom. We have two skins. Dude, we have so much. Let's put that guy and that guy in there. All right, hold on. Blink fronts, silk thread. All right, maybe I'm low on silk thread. 16. Yep, no, we're not. All right, so let's grab that guy. Let's grab that guy. And then, wait, blink fronts was the other thing inside of here and they are right there all right we got plenty of stuff let's make this armor piece this armor uh with this armor equipped creatures are less likely to see or hear you ah let's put the helmet on too with this hood equipped creatures are likely less likely to see you dude and look at us we look amazing look at our amazing armor all right and we still have one more skin left oh this stuff actually goes into your inventory it's unfortunate that's unfortunate. Uh, no, not drop. Two held? Oh, I can't. Can I go up here and then two bag? And then two uh, held? And then two bag and two held? Just so we can be a little bit more organized? I really wish you could move these around too. Just because organization is key. We're very low on axe. That kind of sucks. Not the body spray. Like that, like that, and like that. All right. So, there's some stuff on things. I want to go gather on the island. And then we're going to work on uh, kind of a refit. A refit of our amazing trimaran. Little dismantle on this guy. Alrighty then. Now, pop up here again and then go ahead and craft up our wooden hull. Looking pretty good. And then we got to put our head back on the front over here. So we can pop back over here like so. And then inside of here, that guy right there. Now our bag rack goes back. 
over here like so and i think i'm gonna keep that other bag rack on the front i keep building it and un like deconstructing it when i have to do stuff to the ship but i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore all right so uh wooden hull armor maybe but not right now all right so now what we can do is switch our bags around like this grab this guy pop a bag over there organization is key grab this bag and you know what we could actually do i didn't even think about this man hold on a second where are the all those bags at there's special bags wait they're inside of here aren't they dude i can't even see what they are that's really weird there's some sort of bug happening i think palm bag heavy duty bag food bag two palm fronds one sea lily and or two sea, li sea lilies and two blood bristle dude is it a really good idea that i save those flutter cups sea lilies you guys let's make the food bag up there i feel like that's great plus it's fun to say food bag all right let's go ahead and grab the palm fronds and now we can craft the food bag what's gonna happen to it is it just gonna squirt onto the ground 12 extra slots so i think now i have the food bag right so what i gotta do now is put that in there then grab this bag and then now i gotta pop back over inside of here and grab well we don't need to put everything in there we can pull all of these things out and then our small roasted meat needs to go on the fire dude this is a little bit of a busy box sometimes you know what i'm saying two of those pop over here start the fire now it says with the food bag that it keeps your food fresher longer i'm very interested to see how long it, it works for in my humble opinion with this game like almost indefinitely would be your best bet like you would really want because if you're just putting food in there you're just never going to use it you know it's just going to evaporate over time so we have to keep an eye on this let's take this large haunt for instance and we can see kind of like how much is left almost two bars of durability completely and then i'm going to pull those guys back into the inventory now what i want to do is organize a little bit let's put you in there and you in there and then i also want to take a look at the wooden sail uh you are over inside of here that guy two leather dude i feel like i have that i think we're good to go let's pop that guy off let me go ahead and uh over here what's that oh that's the sling dismantle you like so and now the big sail. Oh, yeah. Wooden mast. Bam. Dude, major improvements to stuff and things. This is going great. All right. You, you, and you. That, 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 and that can go back in there. All right. Inventory looks nice. Super clean. Boat's looking great. I mean, pretty much the same as it did before, but now we have an amazing food bag. Uh, we've explored this island, which was the start of our spaghetti trail, but for some reason didn't seem to be explored yet. Uh, and now we're off <laughs> let's pop up here i want to see how this thing handles real quick let's go ahead and grab that guy uh we got to do a little bit of a turn it's going to take a minute okay we're turning she's not quite as responsive as she was when she was made out of grass all right let's take a look at this bad boy oh also on that island by the way if you're looking at my stamina and you're wondering what's going on i did find uh, one of the stamina crystals oh way more stable dude way way more stable that is awesome also, if you're noticing that the video looks much, much better than it did in the last shot, uh, sorry to break the fourth wall, but uh, went over here into quality and turned off depth of field and bloom. Boy, oh boy, did that clear up the game a lot. Looks way better like this. Uh, so very, very cool. All right, let's check out. Oh, obviously this island right here, we have definitely not been to it. Uh, we have to be a little bit careful with holding forward. When I do that, uh, all the time, I have a tendency to do that, and uh, it gives us a really big speed boost, so we can go up onto the rocks, and that is a no bueno sitch. All right, so I think bigger uh, hulls on the on the sides is going to be in order, but it looks like up over in this area is our third key. And I think if we hold forward just a little bit, we can kind of get... No, is it... Do you have to hold it the whole way? It looks like you kind of do have to hold it and charge it up all the way. All right, sail, sail down, sail down. Uh, so here's the problem. This thing's a little bit hard to turn now. It's not awful, but it ain't great either. All right, the very last key on this little mini island. Uh, and it looks like we need a little bit of stamina. So, wow, does the game look better like this? All right, let's grab those guys. We'll put this back on. There's our one. And then let's just take a look at the food bag real quick. Food bag is the name of my new band. Uh, yeah, I don't know how great it works. I mean, it's not terrible. We'll eat one of those. We're going to have to eat a couple of these. We need some stamina. All right, like that. Uh, we have angry grapes are here. There's wood. Oh, you know what else is going to happen here pretty quick? I bet you any money right now we're going to break our axe. Okay. 
All right. We have almost no durability left on that thing. All right. So uh, I'm going to explore up over this way. Grab the key. I'm going to take a wild guess. Oh, no. It's always better if you hit them all at once. Because these guys can do a little bit of damage. All right. Those guys are gone. I'm going to grab some more silk thread, too. Just want to make sure there's nothing else over this way. Anything? Anything? Uh, no, not really. Nothing. All right. We'll grab the key and then we'll peace out. Ah, key numero three for chapter three. Let's go ahead and get off of this bad hombre. Ooh, that was a close one, man. All right, and we can climb all the way down. And uh, we are GTG. So uh, our axe is slow, but we don't need a new one right away. Let's take a look at the map yet again. I feel like the end is probably over here. I'm going to head straight over like towards the east, I think, which I do believe. I do believe this island is that island because you can see where the key was. Yeah, we're going to have to pop over this direction, I think. Get on the boat like so. Let's check our food again. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. I would love to just get on the boat. Is it okay if we just get on? Okay, okay, that's good. Grab that guy. We got a little bit more meat from the angry grapes. Dude, we got like food for days now. Now that we have our amazing food bag, there's nothing that can stop us. All right, now we got to turn. Oh, there it is. There's the last island right there. Hello, little wee island. Uh, let's look at the palm frond situation right now. How many we got? Uh, I feel like we have enough. <laughs> 23. You know what? Let's grab... Wait. For some reason, I swear to God, stuff and things are a little bit weird in the interface today. I'm going to go inside of there. We're going to drop those. No more palm fronds are required. Uh, looks like there's uh, just sea shards here. So, I figured I would show you. I thought that'd be something amazing. Oh, it's going to be night as well. Are you ready for axe to break? Here it is. Last hit. Oh, man. We still have it. It's got like one hit left on it. So we can grab these shards right here, and then we're going to head to the final island, I think. Let's grab this guy. Teach me your ways, sea shards. 2,000, and we can probably explore over here a little bit and then head over to the final island. You guys, we are flying, baby! Literally. We are literally flying. <laughs> Dude, I want to go the same way the waves are going. If we turn, look how fast it is, man. That's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hold on. Hard to port. So we've already been to this little island right there. I do believe it's that guy. I don't see anything else around here. Oh, there's another one of the weird shells. Dude, we found this last time. I don't know what's going on with it. Super odd. Eat that guy and then grab this and this. You see this little thing over here? If you didn't see it last time, there's like a strange Nautilus shell. Uh-oh, I have my speed boost on. Let me see if I can pull my sail down. I can't. Maybe we can just go like that, and that'll get us over to it. So you'll just be able to see it right there. Weird Nautilus shell just hangs out underwater. I have no idea what those guys are for. But we don't need to worry about that. Let's be honest. We're just heading to the final island with our speed boost powers. Put in the key. Whoa, inky blackness. Ah, oh, the third mural. The story continues, ladies and gentlemen. There was a shell thing near an island that was on fire. And it, it was destroying the island because the houses. It was wrecking the houses. And then it broke the boats and the, sh the big Nautilus shell thing was terrible and mean and there were there were waves and clouds and then everyone was dead except for one guy that was still on the boat but he'll probably die soon and it rained all right so this is very interesting we're learning more of the story definitely clear-cut story very easy to understand uh, all right, so <laughs> the third crossing covenant. So we have another one of these um, kind of obstacle course pieces to get through. Uh, I'm wondering now that our vessel is so unbelievable and amazing. How unbelievable and amazing this will be. Learning to not hold forward all the time is a little bit tough. Oh, you guys, this could be really bad because I just want to go as fast as I can. Oh, baby. No. Uh-oh, 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 huge thing. Turn right. Ah! Dude, oh, that was close. And we broke the rock. 
Okay, stop pushing forward. Slow down! Just put up the sail. Just put it. Whoa! Just put up sail! That was amazing! It was so buoyant. Okay, the wind is not in our favor. We're gonna try to go a little bit more slowly. I thought it might be fun to go quick, but yeah, it was uh it was fun. It's a little dangerous. Okay. Loosen. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, very good. Now, the way this works, it's very hard to see where we're going. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. So much easier. I have to speed boost. I can't go slow. Whoa! Whoa! We capsized the trimaran. How is that even possible? We capsized their boat. I didn't think you could in this game. Oh, it was so worth it. That was excellent. And I can't believe it flipped right back over again. You know, there was a guy. Dude, I can't remember his name. There was a... Because the, the whole idea behind a catamaran and a trimaran is that they're faster boats because they displace less water and they have more water lines. So they basically sit higher in the water. Less of the boat is in the water. So they go a little bit faster, right? But uh, with a monohulled boat, when it flips over, it'll flip back over because of the keel. So on a really dangerous crossing, you know what I mean? In a survival type situation, a monohulled boat is nice because of that reason. Ah, no, not a shark. Dude, this is getting dangerous. So the monohulled boats are good for that reason. And the catamarans and trimarans are faster. They're very much less likely to capsize but when a catamaran or a trimaran does capsize, it's over. You can't flip it back over. But there was a guy who had tried to invent a buoyancy system that went on the top of your mast. So if the top of the mast was submerged in water, it would inflate this buoyancy bag and that would make the, the catamaran flip back over. I don't know if it ever caught on or if it ever really was a thing. You know what? We're gonna have to extend the... Uh, Oh, jellyfish. We're going to have to extend the hulls on the front, I think, to stop us from doing that thing where we go into the wave real deep. But anyway, a uh, little bit of boating information for you. Yeah, that's because we don't have all three of our hulls as forward as as our center one is. Dude, I'm becoming such a boat nerd now. I know all these dumb, obscure facts about boats. Oh, we're going to have to do some repairs, man. It's almost over. Pull the sail. Yeah. Ah. We're in. All right. What kind of amazing thing are we going to get this time? Second blessing or Gordel's fortitude. Dude, second boon from the gods. I think that means that we'll be able to take two. Oh, hello, artichoke. Fly away, artichoke. Fly away. Two artichokes now are up there. All right, let's go ahead and pop up and then take a look at... I don't even know how many blessings we have. We might only have one, to be honest with you. Yeah, we only have the one. But the next time we get a blessing, we'll be able to have two. All right, sweet. So let's pop off over here. Push. Push. Dude, we're so far. We've beached this thing so badly. Push. Push. You can do it. Little girl, you can do it. One more good heft. All right. Before the wind blows us back in, let's turn to starboard. Raise the sail. Do not push forward. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Windbound. Tell me what you think about windbound i don't know tell me something amazing about a carrot in the comment section of the down there thanks for watching like the video shout out to our patrons for supporting and may the stuff and things be with you